Hey everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we're taking a look at the Thule Wing Bar Edge Crossbars. These are going to be some heavy duty crossbars that are also a little bit more low profile. So we'll talk about that, those features, and how they work with the rest of the Thule roof rack systems. So there's a Thule Wing Bar Evo, and there's a Thule Wing Bar Edge. So the main difference between the two is one gives you overhang, the other does not. So if you want a sleek, streamlined, and some people think factory look, that's where the Thule Wing Bar Edge can come in handy. If you want more crossbar space and you have the Evo clamps, that's when you would use the Thule Wing Bar Evo. So they're very similar in shape, but very different in functionality. So there's a range of different crossbar sizes. So you can range from your smaller crossbars to your longer crossbars, and you can even have different sizes on your car. So for example, we have the 37 inch here, we have the 41 inch up front. And that's why it's very important to use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com where we find the right fit for you and your car. So these are made of aluminum. They're very solid and I know some crossbars, when they are made of thinner material, they tend to bow in the middle. This, I do not see that ever happening. But for your actual weight capacity, you are limited to what type of system you have on your car and not so much by the bars. This is available in different colors. So you have black, which is what I have here, and you also have silver. So this has a black powder coat finish, so even as you scratch at it, when you get cargo on there, um, of course in extreme situations you can scratch it up, but it should maintain its finish in most situations. If you do see scratches, I recommend going over it with a paint pen so it maintains its corrosion resistance. It's shaped to be more aerodynamic, so it's tapered in the back and it's taller up front. So that way it will help guide the wind up and over or around your bars. So this means compared to your traditional round and square crossbars, definitely less noisy, less wind drag when you're going down, at, especially at highway speeds. So these are what your crossbars look like when they're not on your car. So the wing bar edge has a different design from the wing bar evos. They're slightly different in terms of shape and a quick look on the inside when you take out the weather strip shows the little tab for your edge towers. So when you get your crossbars, you're gonna get these weather strips. So these are gonna cover your T-track channel, but also help move the air over. So you're gonna take them apart and then you're just gonna push them into your crossbar. And this is gonna be the way that they're facing. So your weather stripping splits apart in the middle so that you can slide your T-Track accessories through it. I personally think it's a little tricky to get it through the first part, but once it slides through, it does it very easily. The size of the wing bar is three inches and an eighth of an inch wide and one inch tall. So most of your accessories will fit around this. Just make sure for your older accessories, they may, may not be used to the modern aero design. So my thoughts on the Thule Wing Bar Edge Crossbars is the first step, make sure you have the right system. If you use our fit guide, you'll find the right fit for you and the right kit all packed together. Also with the Thule Wing Bar Edge, they are designed to be used with edge products. So make sure whether it's the edge raised rail, edge clamp, edge flush feet, those are the ones you use with this crossbar. So with all that being said, they're solid, they're sturdy, they are on the bit more premium side, so if you're a big fan of Thule and you like Thule products, definitely fits in there. If you're looking for alternatives, we also have alternatives here at eTrailer that are solid choices. And that was a look at the Thule Wing Bar Edge crossbars here at eTrailer.